I bite at the hand that feeds me Slap at the face that eats me Some kind of animal cannibal Animal cannibal The clip you just saw belonged to a music video called Possibly in Michigan. The antique style of filming, accompanied by the non-linear notes of its background music, gives the viewer a sense of uneasiness. The 11-minute video was made in 1983 and has garnished around 2.4 million views since its upload in 2018. The video starts off by panning across the interior of a mall, which quickly switches to a scene of an elevator opening and a woman walking out. This is our protagonist, Sharon, a young woman with what the video describes as an insatiable taste for violent men. A man then can be seen exiting the same elevator, who is wearing a particularly looking mask, possibly indicating that he likes to give blowjobs. Joking aside, his mask gives him a disturbing appearance as he stalks our protagonist. Sharon then meets up with her friend and shops for perfume. They converse about the perfume smelling like their aunt, and how she microwaved a poodle which killed the both of them. This one here smells great. Which one? Mmm, smells like mother's crazy sister Kate. Oh, you think so? Yeah, I do. It smells so good. She couldn't have been that crazy. I don't think so. Oh, you don't think so, huh? No. Well, she put her poodle one time in a microwave oven. To eat it? Yeah. To eat it? Oh, no. No, 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 silly, to dry it. No, 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 But it exploded, and they were both found dead. She must have been out of her head. Accompanied by the masked man in the background and the bizarre topic of their conversation, the atmosphere does not convey any sense of comfort whatsoever. As she parts way with her friend, she reminisces about the past encounters with romance. The video transitions to this distorted collage of people with animal masks dancing, threaded with scenes of our protagonist laying around with images of corpse overlaying her posture. During this, we get a little backstory of why the video was named Possibly in Michigan. How do I meet the strangest men? They always seem to find me. Remember that time way back when I kissed a guy who ate his women friends? Now only dogs will follow me. Is he following? I bite at the hand that feeds me. Slap at the face that eats me. Some kind of animal cannibal made impressions on me. Have we met before? Some strange department store We won't see him anymore Who knows how some people turn to strange ones Is it up to me to make them into dead ones? I bite at the hand that feeds me Slap at the face that eats me Some kind of animal cannibal Animal cannibal
compatible. As the two gets home, we can see the man with the mask in the background. This is where a bit more questions are answered. Arthur longed for that sexual scent that smelled like home. He had used so many masks to disguise himself that he had forgotten who he was, who he'd known. He imagined himself a frog transformed into a Prince Charming. Arthur comes knocking at Sharon's door, and Sharon quickly hides to call her friend, who is currently also dealing with some stuff on her own. She then hears the phone ring and picks it up only to hear Sharon's incoherent description of what is happening. Hello? Hello! There's a strange looking man at my door. What he look like, Sharon? Is he that one I won't be seeing anymore? Well, he's not your run-of-the-mill animal. Fiend. Sharon, Sharon, what do you mean? At this point, Arthur throws a brick through the window and enters the house and forces himself upon Sharon. Just when it seems that Sharon is going to lose to Arthur, her friend comes and saves the day by shooting him with her gun. And with a sudden twist of events, they begin dismembering him and making a soup out of his body parts. As they finish eating, they dispose of the remains and continue on their day as if nothing ever happened. The story ends with a shot of a garbage truck and a list of people who produced this video. The director of this video is a woman named Cecilia Condit, and she is known for her juxtaposing tones in her works. The contrast between beauty and grotesque, innocence and cruelty, sexuality and violence are all displayed in the short videos on her channel, but none are more popular than possibly in Michigan. The question still remains, is there an underlying message beneath possibly in Michigan? Or is it just a story of a cannibal getting the UNO reverse card? If we take a minute to think about the lyrics in the song, I bite at the hand that feeds me, I slap at the face that eats me. Sharon is an independent woman without fear of holding back. She also mentions that she kissed a guy who ate his female friends, so we can assume that sometimes before the events of this video, Sharon and this man were in some type of relationship. From the lyrics, we learn that the man tried to cannibalize her, albeit unsuccessfully. I believe Sharon ended up killing the guy. This can be seen through what presumably is the flashback in the middle sequence. Similarly to what happened in the video, after the man was killed, Sharon brought her friend over and cooked the soup out of the dead cannibal and they devoured him. Since then, they both developed the taste for human flesh. The man in the mask we see following Sharon is not Arthur, but the embodiment of the cannibalistic urge which they inherited from the man they have previously killed. Their desire for flesh looms behind them as the figure can be seen throughout the entire video, haunting Sharon's and her friend's existence. The scene of her waking up in the bed of flowers indicate her innocence has been broken after killing the cannibal. She will never be the same Sharon as before. Arthur is the unlucky man and Sharon's next victim. He will be killed for food by the two girls. I believe the scene of her friend shooting random people in masks is just her practicing her aim. As Arthur forced himself onto Sharon, the scene is cut back and forth from a normal shot to a grainier shot. This represents Sharon's PTSD disturbing her awareness of present time as she becomes intermingled with the flashback of the fight against the cannibal. As Arthur goes in for a kiss, reality and fantasy become distorted as she hears the conversation previously with the cannibal. You have two choices. One, I will eat you now. Or two, 
I will cut your arms and legs off one by one and eat them slowly. Why? For love. Why? For love. But love shouldn't cost an arm and a leg. For love. But do you love me? You smell so good. The sweetest flower of all. Have there been others? Six. Then I am the seventh. Right as when Arthur was just about to physically overpower Sharon, Sharon's friend comes in and kills her target. They end up cooking a delicious soup which they chow down gracefully. The masked man can then be seen taking a sip of Sharon's wine after they have murdered Arthur, indicating that Arthur is indeed not the same guy as the masked man. This whole video represents the legacy of the cannibal which lingers still in these two women and will strike again when the time comes. Thank you all for watching and I hope to see you again in the next video.